the Southeast Asian country of Burma is finally on its path to democracy after years of authoritarian rule. This month, British Prime Minister David Cameron became the first EU head of state to visit. Catherine Ashton will follow suit. But one MEP that's already had the chance to witness this new Myanmar of hope is Green MEP from Bavaria, Barbara Lockbiller. As head of the European Parliament's Human Rights Committee, she visited the country not long ago and seems cautiously optimistic about its future. Uh, some of the ministers um, that they are planning to have more than just ceasefires, that they are developing uh, kind of uh, peace agreements so it becomes a sustainable peace. And I think that will be a huge uh, challenge because the human rights violations committed there by the army but also by the rebel forces were horrendous and in some areas like in the Kachin area fighting is still going on. So here we have extrajudicial killings, rape, forced labor with uh, children, um, disappearances. I think that is still a very heavy and full human rights agenda there. And I have to say a lot of uh, representatives of the government including the president I find them very serious that they want uh, assistance in form of uh, training to develop it into a democracy and also in a society which has more economic opportunities for the people there. Um, but I also see looking at the constitution for example that the majority in the parliament is held by one party which was very close to the former rulers that nearly all of the ministers are former generals that uh, even the National Human Rights Commission who does starts a great work but they have been appointed by the president so there needs a development and you cannot change the constitution easily so uh, if we really want a democratic uh, system it needs much more reform and time and in case of an emergency for example the army is allowed by this uh, constitution to be even above the law so we see a very encouraging for decades a militatorship extreme poor people on the rural side also we need we see encouraging reforms which i want to support or the european union should, should support but we have to be very careful not uh, to have uh, blue eyes and to think everything goes this way and we uh, as I, as i am a human rights politician i look on this agenda and uh, this also needs to address those who are responsible for the violence and the human rights violations committed in the past. Maybe it's too early to ask this question today, but certainly it will be one which we will ask next year. Barbara Lockbiller is a human rights activist. She spent 10 years at Amnesty International before becoming an MEP. So meeting opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi, or Auntie Sue as she's known locally, had a personal impact on her. Well, as uh, being a human rights uh, activist uh, for long, I remember, of course, uh, windy, cold uh, days in Germany standing on an information table in the in a city and handing leaflets out to uh, demand that she can uh, be active politically. So I was uh, excited uh, to see her. And whom did I meet? I uh, met a uh, politician who is uh, aware of her power she has, power to influence the Myanmar society, people look up to her and to her um, family as such. They also, um, she is aware of the great responsibility she has to give leadership to those people. And uh, she was energetic, very disciplined, I think, understanding that it is important for her to have good result at these elections, but also understanding that perhaps in the aftermath of the elections, just to be a parliamentarian for her definitely would not be uh, enough. What I could not distinguish by looking at foreign people who are not uh, Myanmaris or Burmanese is there are a lot of business people there. The city is packed, they want to do business and a little bit of tourism. So I think the government uh, has to be careful to develop a source of income and at the same time to protect the pressures they have. I mean the landscape and you know if you come from Thailand you see clearly that this is a society who is very much behind in developing. Like when I was traveling on the countryside, I hardly saw any tractor. The people do everything by hand with a water buffalo. So this is for a tourist maybe a romantic picture, but it's a hard work where those living in the rural areas do not have a choice. As chair of the Human Rights Committee, Barbara Lockbiller is often en route. 
Later this year, she'll visit Yemen and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Working on human rights issues is what drives this Bavarian politician. She says that if she didn't have this chance professionally, she'd do it as a hobby. Quite a calm and uh, pragmatic person. And now since many years I work in this area, I also do see improvements. And that is positive. But sometimes it's quite depressing to see that the greed for power and for money is endless. And I think that's uh, really we have to find uh, structures to limit this to a minimum. Apart from power and greed, bureaucracy is the pet hate of Barbara Lockbiller. But she admits that it's a necessary evil here in Brussels. Sometimes an enormous bureaucracy, which works a lot, but what's the output? Does it really change the life of people on the ground, like human rights activists or victims? That's a little bit imbalanced. But otherwise, I think Europe is uh, one of the few regions who really are proactive also on multilateral issues on human rights. EU foreign affairs ministers will decide whether or not to relax sanctions on Burma at a foreign affairs meeting here in Brussels on April 23rd.